and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Sultai Amnesia. So we had a donation to play a Sol the Sultai Amnesia deck last week. Uh, it was a donation deck that, that was really interesting. Um, it seemed like it had a, a lot of potential and I really liked uh, the interactions with Induced Amnesia, Narset, Parter of Veils, and Vrasco Golgari Queen. I thought those three made a, a pretty sweet uh, core. So I, I took that deck, and as you can see, uh, if you watched that video from last week, I've changed quite a bit in the deck, um, but I'm you know trying to make it a little more consistent than what it was there before. But first, to kind of describe what we have going on here, because we've had some people um, uh, ask about like what what does this card really do? Uh, so you know, in case you haven't seen this card before, so basically. Whenever it so as you can see, I mean you can read the card there, but as it enters, you can target either player. They'll exile all the cards from their hand face down and draw that many cards. So if if we have a Narset in play, we can target our opponent if they have a whole lot of cards in hand and make them exile all of those under the induced amnesia and just draw one card because they can only draw one card a turn with Narset. So we can basically get rid of our opponent's hand and put it under the induced amnesia and hope they and. At that point, hope they do not destroy the Induced Amnesia, because if they do destroy the Induced Amnesia, they'll get all their cards back. So that's one use for it, but the main use for it is ourself. We're basically going to want to mostly just put all of our cards in our hand under the Induced Amnesia, and then draw a bunch of more uh, cards, because we do that to ourself, and then we use Vrasco Golgari Queen to sacrifice our Induced Amnesia, and we get all of those other the cards that we put there back again. So like, let's say we have four cards in hand, and we have Golgari Queen in play, we uh, uh, just play the Induced Amnesia, and I guess we have like three other cards after this Induced Amnesia. We play the Induced Amnesia, we exile our three cards, we draw three new ones, and then we uh, sacrifice the Induced Amnesia to Golgari Queen, we draw a card from Golgari Queen, and then we put those three, whatever three cards we had originally in our hand, we just put them back in our hand. So we just turned Induced Amnesia into a, a draw four in that scenario. We just drew three extra cards off Amnesia and the card from Golgari Queen as well. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, because, like, and, you know, if you if you have four cards in hand, five cards in hand, also when you're in, in amnesia you can get a lot of cards in hand. And so because of that, we actually have two Reliquary Towers in the deck. So we have no maximum hand size at that point. So we can just have um, a hand full of cards. Um, so that's what we have here. So yeah, there were we did have Bantus in the deck last time to build as another thing to sack Amnesia, but I'm taking those out for Carnage Tyrants because we do need like a, a good way to win games, and I think Carnage Tyrants could be that. Like I kind of like uh, not really uh, turning on any creature removal from our opponent at all, and so I'm going to try just having some Carnage Tyrants to be our win condition. Remember, we have Tamios in here that can like return Carnage Tyrants that. Um, uh, that get you know discarded or or whatever, uh, you know Ugin also can end games as well. But that's that's what we have basically for our win condition. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty sweet little deck, a uh, nice little control deck here. I, I really like that engine of Amnesia, Narset, and Vraska. I think it's a, a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice combination of cards. I got another Tamio over here for our control matchups. Because um, just a, such a good card advantage engine, so we got another one of those. And yeah, that's the deck. So let's give it a try here. As you saw, the Casualties of War are in here, where Casualties of War can destroy Induced Amnesia, but it's also just a, a really fine card to bring back with Tamiyo and everything. You know, it can, can kill like a creature, a Planeswalker, a land, bring it back, and kill some more lands. Yeah, I like Liliana here. I, I had Liliana in here as well and decided to go with Carnage Tyrant instead. I think Carnage Tyrant can end games quickly. That's what we need to do. Like One thing that we have to kind of worry about with this deck is milling out, honestly. And so uh, I think Carnage Tyrant can, whenever we like take control of the game and have a ton of cards and everything, Carnage Tyrant can end the game quickly.
Yeah, this is flavorful too. Yep. Vraska kills the amnesia, gets her memories back. Does work very well. So do I want to just amnesia and cycle these six for a new six? Let's do that. My mind needs a rest. This is not my first ending. It's risky, of course. Alright, but now we got another blue source. I was hoping to find a what I wanted to find was a Reliquary Tower and another Vraska. We did not find a Reliquary Tower or another Vraska. I wonder how many basics they have in their deck. Like, what if I Assassin's Trophy this breeding pool? It's probably not worth it. It's probably better to save Assassin's Trophy for, like, a card that matters. Like, I would count that as a card that matters. I want to play a land first. No. Hmm. Should have played the land. Definitely considering it. Should have done it. Show off. I think they have more lands than we do. I follow the tracks of the wise. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, so let's look for Vraska. Nope. No Vraska. All right, let's go with Thought Erasure. Narset Resolve. Very nice. We should find uh, Vraska for us. Keep an open mind. Or not. Oh, no. I, I really want that Reliquary Tower. And those other lands. You think I should just not minus with the Narset? I could, I could definitely do the not minus. Uh, I need that Reliquary Tower because I could have so many cards in my hand right now.
I, I definitely don't want to minus Narset again. I don't want Narset to die to a shock. I, I kind of think they're playing more shocks than lightning strikes. Alright, let's get all these lands back. I don't really know what I want. I take out this Tamiya, what am I looking for? I guess just like another It's under here. Seek and find. All right, well, we found there's the Reliquary Tower there. We can grab the Reliquary Tower. The storied past holds our future. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. So now we just got to actually end the game. But our deck doesn't necessarily do the best job of ending ending games, to be honest. So Vraska's at minus nine. Nope, not you. All right, pass turn. Yeah, we could have like I've I certainly think I've certainly thought about having one Jason here. This will come again. Certainly considered having a Jason here. Or if you have yeah, the yeah, the new card that if you have six different CMCs, you win the game. Uh, I'm one mana short. I want to play Induced Amnesia and Casualties of War, but I, I'm one mana short. So I'll just Casualties of War. Destroy a Planeswalker, a land, an enchantment. Destroy this enchantment, uh, this land that has the enchantment on it, and this Planeswalker. All right, that's that helps us not die to the ends justify the means. Uh, no, we don't need to sacrifice anything. That helps us not die to uh, just a random explosion off the top. Getting that wilderness reclamation out of there. really think I even need to take up Tamiyo. It's not like I need anything. Got everything. I mean, the only thing to find would be, like, my second trophy. There's there's one more Assassin's Trophy in the deck, so, like, maybe we can find that. Uh, 
All right, more trophies. More duress. Do we get another Tamiyo to get trophies back? And duresses and thought erasures back. I don't know, like what if what if you play like a bunch of unmoored egos and tam and tamios and you just try to like take all of their cards? <laughs> you know, when you unmoored ego, you get to like see like all the win cons. Or you just play like a bunch of them to go with a bunch of tamios. Run them out of cards. <laughs> Elder Shaborn is very good against Niv Mizzet, which is very true. And they could have Carnage Tyrant. <clears throat> very true. They could have Biogenic Ooze here. They probably have... So we saw Jace. They probably have Tamio. I don't know if they have enough Planeswalkers for us really to need Elder Spell. We got four trophies, two Contempts. Uh, the Eldest Reborn, Casualties of Wars. That's probably enough. Planeswalker just... removal. <laughs> Building a Tamiyo Ego deck now. Discard and Wraths. Yep. And, like, trophies. Like, trophies perfect for the Tamiyo. Because, you know, like, if you just... You know, Assassin's Trophy, like, their lands, and then you buy back your Assassin's Trophy. Oh, Mission Briefing. This is a mission briefing deck too. Yep, yep. Mission briefing also, so you can like, you know, recast, recast your trophies to destroy more lands and recast your unmoored egos with mission briefings also. I don't think this hand's gonna really do it with the two six mana cards. Hmm, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the Jace would be really good in this deck too. But where, where am I fitting the Jace into this deck? Because I I was definitely thinking about that before this of like trying to fit a Jace in here. Strike, strike, insight, insight, expansion, explosion. Hmm. I like having the backup Tamiyo. They like double strike. I play the first Tamiyo, tick up, they double strike it. I have a new Tamiyo. <laughs> Never. You only have one ego, not wasted rares on it. Uh. Yeah, then our second Tamiyo can get the first Tamiyo back. True. Dueling you will be excellent research. I think you will find my notes helpful. All right, so Golgari Queen can destroy the Ascanta. You are setting a bad example. Man, why can't you draw these Shivan fires instead of having them right to right at the right spot to get rid of them? Those cards, those are just dead cards. I question this outcome. Back to the shadows for now. Goblin Ringleader is back. Dang.
let us have a storied battle worth retelling. To the library. Trophy. All right, no trophy. Um. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Yeah, yeah, you should not cast chemistry's insight before the thought razor like that. Uh, if, you, if you're playing Chemistry's Insight, just let just let them take the Insight and then draw it. Because like, if they would have drawn something good off of Insight, I would have been able to take it. And it would have been uh, very convenient for me. How you play the hand Ooh. I like that Casualties of War. Thanks for giving me those Casualties of War. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, bud. So they had, they had the cannonade and shivan fire in their main deck, and they just didn't sideboard him out. I have learned much from my ancestors. Uh, planeswalker, land, and enchantment. Enchantment. Land. Let's do blue, red. Because of Niv and Explosion, Blue Red's probably the, the best land. I suppose. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice one of the reliquary An towers. Casualty. No, maybe not. No, decline. No, I just want lands. <clears throat> Are they your memories or mine? <laughs> yeah, double infinite hand size. To infinity and beyond. So I can minus three the Tamio to get back my other Tamio, and then minus three that Tamio to get back my first Tamio. And I can just end up with a Tamio in play and in hand and with two loyalty. Or I can also just minus three Tamio grab. I only have the two Tamio, so I so if I if I minus three this Tamio, it kills it. Grab the first one, grab the other one, play this one, minus three it, grab induced amnesia, then also play induced amnesia. Yeah. Cause I want to contempt this turn. I think if I draw land, which I, I'll hopefully draw land, if I draw land, I think I'm going to do that of like have this Tamio, grab Tamio, play Tamio, grab Tamio. So I end up with having Tamio in hand and Tamio in play. So basically just end up with, with both of them. And then also then just Contempt the Jace. That's my plan if I draw a land. Just do both of those. So I can keep Tamio in play and have one in hand and Contempt Jace. But it looks like our opponent just disconnected. Ugh. It's happened a few times today, the disconnections. This was a pretty fun, fun game though. Pretty fun match. That game one was really sweet. Wait, I died? Wait, how did I die? What?
What happened? Wait, said I lost? Why did I didn't lose? I disconnect. How did I disconnect? Doesn't it like say like a thing that's like, hey, you disconnected. Do you want to like reconnect or anything? What is going on? And then yeah, it just had me lose the entire match. But yeah, I didn't I didn't disconnect it, did I? What's the deal with that? Yeah, it just had me just lose the match. Huh. Well, let's, uh... Let's just start this over. I guess we're just starting over. Um... All right, Storm. Take care. Could I fit could I fit a Jason in like one of the Narset slots? Could I maybe go 3 Narset and play a Jace there? If we want a Jason here because of us self milling too much. Alright, let's 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 fit it in there in the Narset in a Narset slot. Oh wait. Let's make sure. Like it over a Carnage Tyrant. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll try a Jace there. What is this Jace titled? I'm updating the deck on Stream Decker. I don't remember what this deck's title. What this Jace is titled though. What is he, Jace? Eater of potato chips or something. Wielder of mysteries? Yeah, more like wielder of potato chips. Alright, gonna need that... I need that fourth land to so dish in the contempt. Wait, our wait, what? So our opponent kept they kept Jade Light Ranger yet have don't a have a green mana for it. Seek and find. Is that is that what just happened? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I like wielder of potato chips. <laughs> Your aggression is noted. Any land? Not land. Aid 
your research. Yeah, that's a good one. So they got Command the Dread Horde and Ugin. Yes, I do want land. No tail should be discarded. To the library. Why don't, why don't you just minus three and grab your command the dread horde back? Why, why would you not do that? All right, casualties of war. I think you will find my notes helpful. Dang. I have learned all I can here. So do they have a basic? All right, I got a basic. Its loss will serve us. Yeah, I think for the most part we're going to be trying to amnesia ourselves, though. I think amnesia amnesiaing our opponent is something that's, that we're not going to do too often. So I can go Cry plus as Kanto, or I can just play this Carnage Tyrant. Uh, I'm just going to play the Carnage Tyrant. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Yeah, they're really digging. They really want uh, Command the Dread Horde, how they've been the, te the Teferi. Get rid of these three. Draw three new ones. Sacrifices must be made. Sack this, get our cards back, and get a new card. Wow, no lands and all that? The Jace is in my graveyard right now. One Casualties of War. There's one trophy over here. So there's another trophy. Seek and find. All right, well that should do it. Well, let's see what they. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, they they can't get anything. They had to they had to draw command the dread horde. So I'm just gonna minus ten the Vraska to turn on the you know ultimate Vraska to uh, be able to kill them with Carnage Tyrant. All right, more trophies, more elder spells. More duresses. More ritual of soot. All 
Honestly, Induced Amnesia is not that good in this matchup. Because unless we have a Golgari Queen right there, because if we play Induced Amnesia on ourselves, I mean, it does just cycle our hand, but if they just have a Teferi, um, you know, any of their Teferis, and they just bounce the Induced Amnesia, then those cards are gone for good. So this is like the the one time is against all the Teferis that it's that Induced Amnesia can be a little rough. I think I may just get rid of him. I think we just probably have enough card advantage and everything without him, to be honest. I, I think we'll be fine. No, as you can see there, so when Induced Amnesia is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, then you return him. So otherwise, they just get exiled for good. Maybe three set. Hmm. Cry works against Dreadhorde, yes, but it doesn't. It doesn't kill. Doesn't kill Wow Growth and doesn't necessarily kill Jade Light. You know, it's basically just killing like whole Branch Walkers and stuff, and maybe Jade Lights. It's most of the time Jade Light, I guess, but not Wow Growth Walker. And I, I want my Sweeper to make to kill all the stuff, even though I know I know that it's not. Now the ritual of sits a little unfortunate against Command the Dread Horde, but that's, that's what I want here. I know my responsibility. I've got time. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so plan is, Trust me. you know, hopefully, like, maybe, like, Ritual of Soot here. There's, like, another creature. Nope, it's a Tamiyo. So it looks like the plan is now Elder Spell. I would like to ask about any lunar anomaly. Let me aid your research. I guess it's just going to be Contempt, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to Contempt the Tamiyo. I want Tamiyo out of here for good. Yeah, let's get that exiled so you, you know, if we, even we kill it, it doesn't come back. The next turn I could have, like, Narset plus Elder Spell and get a bunch of loyalty on Narset. Yeah, welcome everybody. Got lots of people in here. All right, good call, good call. This is no time for a break. So there is a did a good job of milling over another Tamiyo, though, unfortunately. Ooh, that's clutch. Oh no, I can't do that. Plus Elder Spell. Ugh. I want to do Thought Erasure Elder Spell. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Yep. Foiled by Reliquary Tower. It's only a matter of time. Keep an open mind. Uh, they had command. It's only really possible I should have just thought erasured. Right on schedule. If you show remorse, I'll you need to slow down. 
to the library. I guess I should have just thought erasured. Here goes nothing. I'm honestly not sure why they didn't, why their Teferi didn't bounce my Ascanta. I don't, I don't know why they didn't do that. You should leave before I make my. Don't flatter yourself. Tamiya is so good. So if I... Casualties of War... Gonna do this. Uh, we'll destroy one of these beacon bolts. Back to the shadows for now. I think you will find my notes helpful. I can. I can rebuy Casualties of War next turn. Well, let's see, see what they got going on over here. Double Command the Dread Horde. The past is never forgotten. A creature in a land. We know they're drawing that Teferi that they can't cast. And now that they can't cast this command, the Dread Horde either. So don't have to worry about that. So we can just. Keep this loop going. The storied past holds our future. This is probably way too greedy, but I like destroying lands. Let's slow this down. My other Tammy over here. That's more like it. <laughs> yep. Way too greedy, but I know I noted this somewhere. Regard Queen. Still too green? I'll work. I have practiced I have just the trick for this. We will yeah, we grabbing today. Carnage Tyrant would make a lot of sense. So I guess if I, if I would have grabbed Carnage Tyrant, they would have ripped that land. And so then they would have been able to play... No, because I could have just Carnage Tyrant plus Thought Rager. Because yeah, I would have just Thought Rager away the card anyway. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so Carnage Tyrant or Ugin? Yeah, Tyrant. Learned much from my ancestors. 
Doesn't really matter what they have. It's nothing. Its loss will serve us. Hone your prowess. Okay. And there we go. This deck's sweet. I mean, I could still grab Elder Spell to make that lethal there. Um... I could still minus, I could still, like, by grabbing the Tamiyo, I, I could still minus the first Tamiyo, grab Elder Spell, play the other Tamiyo, uh, destroy the two Tamiyos, put the stuff on, on Vraska, the counters on Vraska, ult Vraska. Two, four, no, that, that doesn't even ult, no, that's not lethal. Because that's only four counters, no, so yeah, no, no, Elder Spell wasn't, wasn't lethal. Hey, free stuff. GG's. The Reliquary Tower is so that we don't have too many cards in hand. Oh, man. This hand kind of has everything. So if our opponent's playing an aggressive deck, we lose. Or if we don't draw a second land, we lose. But if we draw a second land in our first two draws and... As Kanta stays around and helps us hit more land drops, and our opponent's not playing very, a very aggressive deck, then this hand can do a lot of sweet stuff. No, you cannot cast an Elder Spell with two Tamiyo on the battlefield, no. You can't have two Tamiyo on the battlefield, so immediately you have to sacrifice one of them. Ugh, give me that first hand back. All right, well, we need the green mana. Ah, uh, instant regret. That first hand would have been great. Instant regret. Oh man, that first hand would have been perfect. Well, we got an Ascanta and a Tamiyo. Tamiyo. How many basics does a Jeskai Super Friends deck usually play? How many basics they playing over there? Gijin. I walk a righteous path. Share in my light. Gijin, real good against me. Uh, what does Corpse Knight do, Karmic? I don't have, like, the card names memorized or anything right now. For the new set. Get out of here, Fib Dip. Now you're fibbling and dipping. Two or three basics, that is. Feel the heat of my flames. The return of Unsummon. I've never been a huge Unsummon person. I haven't really. It's not. I'm not really someone that casts a lot of Unsummons. So I. I'm not like upset or anything that's back, but I'm not like like thrilled that it's back. It's just. It's just kind of. Whatever. Bravery wasn't enough. Um. So it's white, black, two, two. That whenever a creature enters the battlefield, your opponent loses a life. 
Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, being a 2 2 is a whole lot better than being the 1 2. The, like, Cruel Celebrant, you know, is like whenever your creatures die. I will call the dragons. Kind of card could, you know, like, work really, really well with, like, Hero Precinct 1. Like, that, you know, it has a lot of potential to do a lot of damage. Trophy was a great draw. And now I'll have this ritual set to kill this other Dargan. But yeah, Here being a, a two mana 2-2 two -two is, is really important for that card, not being a 1-2. One 1-2s two. One are just kind of unplayable. One power just doesn't doesn't do anything. Another Dargan. This card's great. I need another green source though before I can play it. I'll just graveyard it for now. Hmm. There said green source. Get Eldest Reborn in here. Same kind of sideboarding against the control deck as we did before. What I cut? Oh, I cut Induced Amnesias because of all the Teferis. Could make sense. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we have. A, I mean, our our deck still looks pretty good even without the induced amnesias. Yeah, I like I like ley lines being re reprinted or like you know just printed in general. But I like a ley line cycle. It's a good time for some more ley lines. Ugh, this is maybe not a keep. You know, it's like two land duress Tamio. It's like all right, this is pretty cool. And then it's just like wait a minute, these all kill planeswalkers, but they cost a lot of mana. Fibble, fibble, to fairy strike. It's not a green source, but still playing it. So could have taken a fibble thip, or the strike, I guess. You know, so that we have like duress for the to fairy, but. Um. I'm assuming they're going to play Fibbleth up here and draw another card. Hope one of those two cards is not a Planeswalker. Oh, come on. I train with and so I wanted them to play the Fibbleth up first, then draw another card so I had more opportunities to hit a card to make them discard. My mind needs a rest. All right, now we need Greenland. Greenland. Jeez. Just all these planeswalkers. Together we can banish Four fibble fibs. Prepare for battle. I 
Of course, playing Eldritch Reborn would be a lot better than playing Duress, but I gotta get gotta get uh, Teferi out of there. Come on. No sword can pierce my scale. Your end has arrived. Yeah, I guess it has. Your light will cleave the darkness. Yeah. All right, I'd like to draw Elder Spell. We did not do a very good job of drawing green mana. It'd be really nice to be able to Casualties of War next turn. They're sacking Sarkin because they're scared of Elder Spell. They want to diversify, have creatures and planeswalkers. Instead of just planeswalkers. There's no green mana. All right, one and one. One and one. Ugh. Some unf unfortunate game there. Yeah, why do we have all those unplayable cards in our Demir deck? All right, match number three. I like the Sultai deck though. This deck, this deck's pretty sweet. Bolus Liliana Ugin. Gross. Gross. Well, we need more land, so casualties of wars in the graveyard. All right, cycle. Cycle all four. Let's get land. Vraska. All right, we got land. No Vraska. Crow the Carnarium's not any good. Yeah, of course, Rattleclaw. Of course. Ooh. Interesting. Make an excellent informant for my study. No tale should be discarded. What's killing Nicobolus? So I have two contempt, two trophy. So I guess it's trophy. Let's. Thought Erasure first. Gosh, that's another really good card, though. And just let Tamio die and just have double casualties of war. Alright, 
no trophies anyway. I will not stand uh, for Thunder Wonk, you know I I res I restarted the the league after that first match if cuz we can't have two losses in this league, so I'm I'm not one and two on right now. So I, I quit the league and restarted and joined a new one. Alright, destroy all these. Um I guess just blue black. Oh, destroy enchantment. Oh, Rattleclaw, I don't I don't use Twitter, I deleted that. I don't sending me a message on Twitter is not that's not a way to send me a message at all. I don't. I don't have a Twitter. I have the Discord channel. Yep. Yeah, there's Discord for the channel. Yep. And um, talking all the spoilers and everything like that. But yeah, or sending me a message here on Twitch. Um, but yeah, Discord's the, the best way. All right. Let's see. So we're playing against Grixis Control. Let's get these Elder Spells. They have a lot of Planeswalkers. Duress. Elders Reborn, Trophies, Tamiyo. Actually, I don't think I want this many Elder Spells. I don't want Ritual of Soot. I don't want Cry of the Carnarium. I do like Induced Amnesia a lot here. Um, I'm going to get rid of... we got to get rid of something, though. Tyrant Scorn. One other card. Um... I guess I'm just not going to play Elder Spell because the trophies. That's kind of silly. I don't know. I'll just play one dress. I am 6 1. Well, our hand's not very good, but it's it has a lot of lands. And having a lot of lands and being able to hit your land drops is an important aspect to winning discard-heavy matches. So I don't think it's a mulligan. Also, mulliganing is not very good in discard-heavy matches either. Because whenever... The discard spells just reduce resources on both sides. So this Kanto is like a perfect draw step, but unfortunately... <clears throat> Unfortunately, my opponent had the Thought Razor for it. So, on the play, turn one Duress into turn two Thought Razor into turn three Thief of Sanity is pretty difficult to beat. It's pretty difficult to beat. I am Tamiyo. It is an honor to meet you. I follow the tracks of the wise. Like the phases of the moon. Let me aid your research. Alright, so we'll be able to trophy the thief here at least. No. Data will be Never mind. I'm not trophying thief. Oh, that's is that all their black mana?
to the library. <clears throat> I'm taller than Brad Van Fleet. Nice. Hmm. So I cannot thought erase them with Tamio and play. I guess I kill Tamio instead of kill Thief. Narset, Narset, Nicobolus. Wait, no, keep that. Yeah, Tamio is pretty important in this list, to be honest. Ugh. Dang, wish I would have got rid of the land. Really bad. I yep, not, not looking good. Okay. Both of my casualties of wars are gone. Both of my Tamios are gone. Well, as far as draw steps go, that was a really good one. The problem is, it. Problem is, Ugin clears this out, but. When you understand reality, to bathe in cool. That's good, Rattleclaw. So I turn one duress, turn two thief, or turn two thought rager, turn three thief of sanity. That is rough. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like the chapstick? That's not how you put chapstick on. You don't put chapstick on your teeth. What are you doing? Right, I'm going to have one Tyrant Scorn in. Over that Duress. I'm going to do that. Crispy, thank you so much for that sub there and that support. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a good start to your week here on this Monday. Getting the hype boats there in the channel. So I'm going with a little bit less discard. You know, I'm not playing the two duresses. This kind of matchup, like their deck is just filled with discard. And so I don't think I really want to have my deck filled with discard also, because we should be, you know, because of that, like, we should be kind of like in, in uh, top deck mode quite a bit. And top decking discard spells is not really where you want to do, where you want to be. So I'm just kind of going with, um, 
letting my opponents discard do a lot of work as well. All right, and uh, we got this Tamiyo for turn four. Let's look for Induced Amnesia or Vraska. I think you will find my notes helpful. Wow, I should have named Assassin's Trophy. It, it was double Assassin's Trophy. Multiverse will bend to my no. My schemes are never ending. All right. Well, do they have anything for Carnage Tyrant? Thanks for a long time follower, first time sub. Keep, keep, uh, keep up teaching us. All to be better players. Well, that's that's what I'm gonna try to do. Thanks for thanks for following for a long time, and yeah, I appreciate that sub quite a bit. Thank you very much. Ooh, what a top deck! What a top deck! Creature, land. See, that's a, it's always a good a good strategy against discard spell decks. Just keep keep your threat count really high. Don't have like a bunch of other like discard spells because you know like as you see here like drawing these duresses is like not what we really want to be doing. Want to draw big threats instead, or you know just big expensive splashy cards. You want to have those available for after your hand gets ripped apart. Boom. What a casualty of war. That's right. There's War of the Spark, and there is one major casualty. Nicol Bolas, the Arisen, Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, or Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. I don't know. All the Nicol Boluses, they're all casualties. And there we go. We're two and one. Lost a pretty close one. But this deck's playing pretty well. I mean, we would have we would have certainly won that very first match that we had to cancel. Like we we had that match won very easily. Like this is we're really like three and one right now, but it it uh, canceled out and we had to restart. All right, well, mono red is tough. Game one in particular. I have a lot of cry the carnarium. By a lot, I mean two. I have two cries, three soots. Those can help us out. Um, we do have, you know, we have like trophies and things like that. Like we have a lot of like answers to their stuff. But we don't win games fast at all, and so just a lot of burn spells uh, can get us. Uh, post board, you know, we'll be bringing in Enter the God Eternals, and you know, maybe we can have some Enter the God Eternals and like Tamio buy back Enter the God Eternals and so on. These cards in hand aren't aren't really doing very much, and I only have the three mana. I think I'm just gonna induce Amnesia away my hand here. Instead of playing Narset, let's let's get a new hand. I, have <laughs> learned is I mean, I guess I could have just Narseted. I guess I didn't really take into 
account their risk factor. I guess I could have just Narset and not tick down or anything. Just have five loyalty Narset pass. So that if they if they want to cast risk factor again, they have to, um, you know, like they they just draw one card. Yeah, we found removal. like just playing the chain whirler maybe do a little bit more for you there I mean they could have a Chandra I guess I still have trophy for a Chandra Yay! Wait, there's no lands in here. I'll play this land first. I guess it doesn't really matter if we play the land first or not. Everyone is expendable, except me. Okay. Um... Get rid of Soot, Narset, and Hmm. I guess just destroy a land isn't worth it. Six mana to destroy a land. I guess that's not really worth it. Lame. Yeah, I guess, yeah, maybe that other, the second Narset, or the second Vraska could get rid of that. All right, uh, Moment of Cravings. Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, Tamiyo to rebuy, enter the God Eternals. Um... Probably want duresses in this kind of matchup. I think. And so this is sixty seven here. I think I can take out Jace. I'm not gonna win with Jace. Um, I think I like Duress more than Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure does have that Surveil, but Duress costs one instead of two. All right, just the two Tamiyo. And what about Narset? Narset's good against Risk Factor, I guess, but... It's not very good against, like, the rest of their deck. I guess it, it does help. Never mind. It digs for Enter the God Eternals. Um... All right, now maybe just no discard. Let's just get rid of discard, because we want, like, a really late game again, and... We're... Amnesia's not really slow. Like we can we can cycle a whole bunch of cards with Amnesia and you're know, like, we're gonna need to find like we certainly need to find uh Enter the God Eternals. 
and like Tammy to rebuy into the God Eternals. And so we need our cards like Amnesia that can just, you know, go get like four new cards and, and so on that we can just uh, rely on to see a whole bunch of new cards. All right, just what? What? Just didn't even play Lava Runner. Okay. <laughs> yeah, by the by the time after we play Narset and then Induced Amnesia, they're not going to have nearly as many cards. Um, it's possible if they don't if they don't have land here. I guess it's possible they have a good amount of cards, a good amount of lands. Let's we'll we'll give it a try. Now they drew land. So we'd make them get so we could make them get rid of both of those cards and draw one random card. Keep an open mind. I think I probably should have just played it induced amnesia turn three instead of playing Narset. I should have just played this Amnesia turn three. Oh well. Um... I only picked target. Oh, I've suffered worse. Just the trick for this. Gross. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Also gross. Man, so much for finding Enter the God Eternals. Whew. I wanna pay two life? I can't I can't really pay two life, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm just taking two either way. If I trophy or not trophy these stupid pyromancers. But I, I wanted to save one trophy for the Chandra.
I didn't want to do this right now. You know, I wanted to play things that killed these. There we go. Okay. Okay, we still got this. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. All right, so we're gonna cry the carnarium, just to get rid of this steamkin. All right, let them draw. This was a waste of my time. Can we do it? Carnage Tyrants end games pretty quickly. And yeah, I, I am just, you know, gaining a life here. The Let's Go Gari Queen minus nine. All right. So yeah, right there would, if they didn't have a burn spell, Golgari Queen minus nine. Uh, and then kill him with Carnage Tyrant. So right with this hand, I have four trophies to kill frenzies. Think about playing this fourth ritual set. No, maybe not on the draw. All right, I'm going to go with the duress. OK, game three. Gosh. No, I can't I can't risk that. Well Black Mana. Well, with London Mulligan rule, we would have seen that our seventh card was definitely not a land, and there's no way I'm keeping this hand. But come on, black mana. Ugh. Dang. That has been a common theme of our games that we've lost have been hands without, you know, like not hitting land drops. Yep, GG.
Yeah, one point of damage for the rest of the game. game well disappointing ending there but this deck played it felt it felt good though it felt like it played pretty well um you know like it's just didn't have all the luck in the world on our side here um but um this deck was a lot of fun to play Honestly, uh, the Ugin over there didn't seem like maybe we don't need Ugin. Uh, Casualties of War was just incredible, of course, and like that with Tamio is awesome. Um, I could I could see the the Ugin being something else. Uh, I don't I don't want Liliana. I I'd rather have Ugin than Liliana, with Ugin's tick up, um, always getting more cards and everything. Um, and I, I like how, like, basically Ugin takes out Planeswalkers, which is just so important these days, uh, which is why Ugin is so good. It takes out Planeswalkers. Um, Liliana, you know, would take out two creatures, but I would, I'd rather have Ugin that takes out Planeswalkers. But if, if you're looking for a slot for something else in the main deck, um, you know, maybe like a, a second Tyrant Scorn or, um, a Discovery, or, you know, like something else, like, you know, whatever else, an elder spell in the main, I don't know, some something else like that, that's a, that Ugin is, is certainly, um, that could go. The Carnage Tyrants were awesome. I love having the two Carnage Tyrants in here. Uh, you know, Golgari Queen Emblem, Carnage Tyrant Kill Them was really, you know, like that was, that was the main way we were winning games. Um, you know, this, this card being hexproof, you know, we're blanking all the creature removal. Um, yeah, Carnage Tyrants were awesome. Uh, could play a third Casualties. Yeah, could have, could, Ugin could be, yeah, Ugin could have third Casualties. Um, that could be a thing. Um, could be a third Carnage Tyrant. Yeah. I wouldn't, I don't think you really need four, because, like, the thing is, is, like, this game goes really, this, this deck goes really deep, and you don't want, like, a bunch of Carnage Tyrants in your hand. Um, you basically just need to find your Carnage Tyrant to, to end the game, and Tamio does a good job of that. Could just be third Tamio. Uh, Tamio is just incredible all the time. Ugin probably could probably should just be third Tamio, to be honest. Um, I I thought about a Kefnet, but I d I don't want to like turn on my opponent's Tyrant Scorns or anything like that. I don't think. So I just don't think we need a a Kefnet, to be honest. Um. Yeah, I think I think I did like Jace over the fourth in our set. I I like that against the control decks, having access to the Jace that you can find with the Tamio to be able to win that way. I think that's worth it. I could see I could see taking out the Jace though too. I could see just having the Carnage Tyrants be good enough, and the Jace and the Ugin uh, both be flex slots there. I uh, could just play a couple Enter the God Eternals in the main. That could be a main deck card instead of like the Jace and the Ugin. Uh, if you're more worried about the aggro matchups, you know, like mono red and stuff. And could kind of be Eldest Reborn. Eldest Reborn is kind of sweet. I think if I play this again, I think I would take out Ugin and just put this third Tamio over here in the main and put a second Eldest Reborn in the side. Or third Enter the God Eternals. I don't know. I feel like we're not that bad against mono mono red, uh, especially like after side after sideboarding and like all the moment of cravings and everything. I feel like we're pretty good against mono red. Or, you know, like good enough. Cause Enter the God Eternals is kind of just for mono red, and so I don't really want another. Kind of the same with moment of craving. I don't really want another card that narrow. We don't we don't really need Jade Light with you know playing induced amnesia. Yeah, we, we hit land drops, but I mean maybe we just need another land in the deck in general. There's twenty five, maybe there should be twenty six. 
but you know, like if we have land drops, we play them. If we don't have land drops, we induce amnesia and go get a bunch of new cards. I don't know. I think I think this is what I would do: is take the Ugin out for that, get that Tamio in there, and get the second Elvish Reborn over here. Or you know, that Elvish Reborn could be really anything else. So, if you're trying the deck out at home, you know, you can try out some different cards and let me know how it goes and everything. But this deck was really sweet. Um, Assassin's Trophy and Casualties of War were really really good. Um, and uh, those with Tamio is uh, pretty exciting there and yeah I was I was really pleas presently surprised by the Carnage Tyrants but still Induced Amnesia Golgari Queen those those were awesome so yeah pretty sweet deck here all right so if you're watching this video later on YouTube um, hope you enjoyed it and please if you did please hit the like button over there and subscribe to the channel as well I'd be really appreciative of that but that's it here for Sultai Amnesia thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for another video.